Hi everybody, you don't come back with your hard sleep or no. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how you can easily improve the battery life in your Lenovo Tab 1. So actually, it's not that difficult. At first, we need to find the settings in our device, which as you can see are here. And here, now we have to scroll down to the battery. And now, here, it have just a couple of settings. Here, tap on the third optimization at first. Here, as you can see, what I do recommend to have enabled is to have battery maintenance mode. When enabled, the system will adjust charging according to the battery status to extend the battery life. Uh, apart from that, what I do recommend is to have here uh, enabled the maximum charge limit. But of course, if you, I mean, it works like that. If you want the battery life extended uh, for maybe one year or two, have this option enabled. But remember, the effect can't be, uh, maybe won't be that seen. Uh, but good, well seen is because when the battery is that bad, you just won't see the difference if the battery lasts two hours or four or six. Uh, if you want uh, to have daily better battery life and wars and for, for one or two years, so you'll have four years of the battery life instead of six, uh, you can just have this option disabled. I will have this enabled for now. And that's it from the charging optimization. Apart from that, we can go back to uh, the uh, here the battery and scroll down. Here, as you can see, we have view by applications, the battery usage. Tap on one application, and here, as you can see, disable all background usage. Uh, here, as you can see, enable for real time updates. Is able to save battery. For actually the Google Play Store, I live in a bot, but if you do have here, for example, some Instagram, some TikTok, message, maybe not Messenger, Instagram, TikTok, or something like that, the uh, place the application where you don't text or you don't need notifications uh, minute by minute. So I do have, recommend to have it like this. Now we can go back and go back. Maybe not that, not that further. <laughs> Not that far, let's just stay in the settings. Here in the settings, what I do recommend to go into the display. And I know that this is the IPS, uh, IPS but what I do recommend is to have the dark on the board. It's just better and it looks, just looks better when we do have the uh, dark mode set. If you don't like uh, the dark mode, you can just enable the automatic switching and some schedule as you can see over here. I will stick with the light mode for the video purposes. So yeah, apart from that, what I do recommend is to have the adaptive brightness over here enabled, self-left enabled, because as you can see, if you have disabled, our system won't adjust our brightness level up to our environment things. As you can see, this is somehow laggy, but it goes down. It works. So apart from this option over here, what I do really recommend to have is to tap on the screen timeout over here and set a slow timeout time as you're comfortable with it. So for example, the best thing that you can do is balance to maybe 1 minute and 30 seconds. 30 seconds, but I know that it's for time for some of you. So yeah, but it's always better, the lower the better for your battery. Now we can go back and go back from here. And here we need to go to the notifications and control center. Here, as you can see, we have a lot of things. But for example, disable, enable, enhance notifications. Here, as you can see, we don't have some things about the vibrations or something like that. But we can enter the sound and here, as you can see, we do have a lot of cool options to disable, of course. For example, here, as you can see, we have the Dolby Atmos. Tap it and disable Dolby Atmos. I know that you love Dolby Atmos on quality, but it's, it's worsening your battery life, daily battery life, of course. And actually, that's it for this video. If you found this helpful, please comment to the description, leave a like on our video. 
it's very important to us to have your feedback, so if you do have any drawbacks or comments to my video, we let me know in the comments down below. And as I said, that's it, hope it helps you and goodbye! Thank you.